Hey guys, welcome back. This is Nod Lambers of Invoked 101, and today I am doing my Burning Abyss deck profile. I think I've only ever done one other Burning Abyss deck, and it wasn't mine. So to be doing my own Burning Abyss deck is pretty cool. I do have some things that aren't super great about the main deck, but the main deck is about how I want it for right now. I'll talk about it when I get there, and the extra deck isn't something that I usually um, put together for Burning Abyss, it's just kind of a, a mishmash of all my other extra decks that are in the box, because I do keep it in a box with other other decks. So, uh, but anyways, before we get into the deck profile, I quickly want to tell you guys that uh, if you want to see more deck profiles like this and you just want to see more content in general, consider backing me on Patreon. There's a link in the description below to that. And if you want to keep up with everything we do on the channel, consider subscribing. Now, without further ado, I'm going to move Dante away and we're going to talk about the main deck. And of course, of course, we're going to zoom in just a bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're playing three Skarm of the Burning Abyss. So what he does is, so all the Burning Abyss have an effect where if you control no spell and trap cards, you can special summon this card. They also have the effect of if you control something that's not a Burning Abyss, you need it blows itself up. And then they have a unique effect. And you can only use one effect per turn. So, uh, and they all have an effect when they're sent to the graveyard. So Skarm's effect when he's sent to the graveyard is that during the end phase, you can search any dark level three fiend. So really cool there. Uh, then we have three Farfa of the Burning Abyss. So uh, what Farfa does is when he's sent to the graveyard, he uh, you target a card your opponent controls and banish it until the end phase. And then lastly, I actually should be running three of this guy, but I'm playing two Libic of the Burning Abyss. When he is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a Burning Abyss from your hand, but its effects are negated. I'm pretty sure it's from the hand. A level three dark fiend monster from your hand, but it's effective to get so it doesn't even have to be a burning of this. So, there we go. Uh, I would run him at three, but I don't have a third one. Uh, two barbar, uh, when he is sent to the graveyard, you can banish. Uh, three Burning Abyss, up to three Burning Abyss monsters that aren't Barbar, and inflict 300 points of damage per uh, monster sent. This is really good if you're in time, if you can make Lady B and then make the, and then send this to the graveyard and burn your opponent. Okay, this is Alich of the Burning Abyss. I play two of him. What you, when he's sent to the graveyard, you target a card on the, a monster on the field and negate its effects until the end of the turn, right? Yeah. Okay. And then for our one-ofs, we have uh, one Seer who summoned, uh, when he's sent to the graveyard, target a Burning Abyss in your graveyard, special summon it. One Graph, because these are the two limited ones, and Graph summon is the same thing as Seer, except it's from the deck. Uh, one Rubik, he's the only one that doesn't have an effect from the graveyard because he's a tuner. So what he does, so he has the same special summon effect, but his uh, the rest of his effect is you have to Synchro Summon with Burning Abyss monsters for a Burning Abyss monster. Uh, and then lastly, one uh, Cow Cab of the Burning Abyss. This one, you target a set card your opponent controls and put it back in their hand. Um, I, I have thought about taking uh, Cow Cab out and putting in Cagna because of another card that I run, and I'm probably gonna end up doing that. Cagna is probably gonna end up in this deck over Cow Cab. Uh, so then I run uh, the Honorary Burning Abyss Tour Guide. You special summon a, uh, a fiend monster from your deck, a level 3 fiend from your deck, but its effects are negated, so free Dante if you have her. Um, so let's move all that out of the way because we got a lot of monsters. Uh, so for auxiliary monsters, we have three fiendish rhino warriors. So while this guy is face up on the field, fiend monsters control cannot be destroyed by card effects. So which means that as long as he's on the field, you can keep summoning burning abyss monsters and not have to worry about anything. And then if he is sent to the graveyard, uh, you can send one fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard. This guy is really, really cool. The only sad part is that he's not a dark fiend, but he is a fiend, so. Uh, then I'm playing three Galaxy Worm. So what Galaxy Worm does is really cool. So you, whenever you normal summon it, if you control no other monsters, right? Where you control no other monsters, you can special summon a level three or lower galaxy monster from your deck. So you just summon another galaxy worm and make Dante. This is a really cool little turn one play. Uh, two orbital hydralander. 
uh, this guy is really cool. Most burning abyss of decks play him. And then uh, usually if you play him, you need a way to sort out your graveyard that isn't Barbar. -bar. So we of course run two copies of Fairy Tale Snow. I know my monsters are actually getting a little crooked here. But yeah, two Fairy Tale Snow. I think Snow is really good in this deck. It's like the, it's one of the few decks that actually likes to play Snow. So we have that. Then I'm playing uh, two Crane Crane. Uh, this, whenever this guy is normal summoned, you get to target a level three monster in your graveyard and special summon it. But its effects are negated. So this is a really cool card. Uh, you just make Dante for free. And then uh, of the last set of monsters in the deck, I play two Rescue Cat. The Rescue Cat special summons two level three beasts from your deck with their effects negated, but they're destroyed during the end phase. And for my level three beast, I'm playing uh, three Paro Paro Cerberus. Uh, you can play Gallus the Starbird over these. You can play other stuff over these. These are just the ones that I had, and I was like, all right, sure, I'll just play these. So what Para Para Cerberus does is, while he's if he's in your graveyard, when you take damage, you can banish this card from your graveyard, I think. Yeah, banish it and then target a card in the field and destroy it. So basically, if you get hit and this guy's in your graveyard, you can banish it and then pop a card to your opponent controls. So uh, just kind of you know neat little piece of something. That is it for the monsters. That's That's the final monster bit so then i run uh some spell cards uh, i don't run a heavy spell card amount because i am gonna put in seca's light once i get it but i have yet to acquire some so to start i'm playing two twin twisters just because you know discard i'm playing one good and evil in the burning abyss see this is why cagney needs to go back in the deck because good and evil in the burning abyss is in here and then uh a dark hole monster reborn a monster reborn reborn because it helps filter the graveyard and then uh, forbidden chalice but yeah like I said uh, I am gonna put in Sekka's light once I do so like everything that's spell wise like all the grand total of six is gonna become three and I'm gonna put in three more burning abyss names more than likely uh, but yeah so that is it for the uh, the main deck very very monster heavy deck burning abyss because just because of the way that you want it to be played. It's kind of like you're running a 60 card deck, but you're playing 40 cards in a weird way. So for the extra deck, of course, I'm playing I'm playing three Dante. Uh, not everyone plays three Dante anymore. I'm still playing three at least until uh, you could probably cut into two until we got it, until we get the uh, Burning Abyss Link monster. But uh, I have three Dante, so I'm going to play three Dante. And then, of course, with Dante, you got to play Lady B because she's there. Uh, she helps you just facilitate a whole bunch of stuff. Then uh, for our Synchro, I am running the Virgil and I am running uh, the uh, Pilgrim Dante because uh, the instant Burning Abyss players stop running this, people stop being afraid of hitting Beatrice because that legit, that is the only, he's the only reason that people don't swing into Beatrice. So. Uh, and then lastly for the XZs, uh, Downard, Downard Magician because she's you can slap her on top of Dante, and I just really like Downward Magician. And this is the only deck I have that can like play her. All right, for Lynx, I'm playing uh, Nightmare Mermaid, uh, two Phoenix, and a Cerberus uh, to start. Uh, yeah, just uh, no questions. Then I'm playing, uh, there are combos with this guy, so I play two Underclock Taker. I think he's really good in this deck, so play two of him. I play one Decode Talker, and I play one uh, Saryuja. You can honestly cut some some of this stuff for things like, uh, what's it called? The um, the Dark Link monster, the uh, or the Fiend Link monster. You could cut stuff for that, because I actually think the Fiend Link monster can work in this deck, because I think it might have, like, what is it? Do, uh, does any Burning Abyss have 500 attack? Let me look. 500 attack or 500 defense? There has to be 500, there has to be a Burning Abyss that has stats like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so you could probably actually get value out of him. So you're just in here just to be Saryuja, and then, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so yeah, that is my Burning Abyss deck. It's kind of quick, kind of small. It's not the best variant like I know, but this is the version that I've been playing. This is the version that uh, I've been trying to put together for some time. And... I do enjoy playing it when I do. I do, in, uh, but uh, in all honesty, my girlfriend probably plays this deck way more than I do. So, but I do, uh, I do enjoy having it and letting it sit in the deck box. But anyways, tell me what you guys think about this deck in the comments below. 
consider backing me on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video.